Hi there again, Booktube Loyal here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to give you a quick bookshelf tour, uh, where I've placed all my books, and and I just want to give you a quick debriefing of what I've done while I've moved out, how I've placed my bookshelf, and I'll give you a quick tour and show you what I've what what I've done with my bookcase. So, so as you can see here, this is my fantasy bookcase. I have the Trudy Canavan. Magician's Guild series right here. I have Priestess of the White. I have Mark Lawrence's books. Um, Last Hand of God, Paul Hoffman. Um, the Talon series. I obviously have um, Air of Fire out while I'm reading it, but I have Sarah J Mass there. I have Batman just there. Oh yes, as I did not mention before, I have Maleficent with my Amethyst right there. The Invisible Library and the Masked City, Aragon and Dreamwalker, all at the top there. So these are some fantasy books. And then obviously I have my Sword of Truth Tergo kind shelf right here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do when um when the next book comes out or where I'm gonna put it, but I'll find somewhere even if I have to change shelves over. So I have Odin right here. It's a pop final. I have Pac-Man and a Hedge Knight and my fiance's pocket watch is sitting on the shelf too currently. And then I'll go down the shelf. This is my Robert Jordan collection as well as a few other books. Here I have Torchic Caterpie who has fallen over on a Pokeball, Sonnet the Hedgehog, Snape's Wand and some character from Star Wars. I don't like Star Wars and it's not mine. Um, I also have the Lord of the Rings collection by Tolkien right there. I have the Sorcerer's Crown and the Traitor's Blade up there. As I say, it's my fantasy bookcase. Going down a shelf, I have an owl called Bubo. I have um, Joe Abercrombie books. And then I have Snow Like Ashes, Ice Like Fire, the Iron King, Orcs, the, um, the Senita's Daughter books, Seeker, Emperor's Blade, Ink and Bone. I have Captain Hook sitting here from Once Upon a Time, Royal Exile, Robin Hood book, Liars of Loch Lamour, rather, uh, Raven's Head, Name of the Wind, and Carceron, Queen of the Tealing, and the Magician, start of the Magician series, really. So that is my fantasy bookcase that you could have seen right there and everything that is on it. If you look up to the top of that, I have a candle holder, a um, wrap that has been crocheted, Terminator head, another candle holder, and a character from The Hobbit right there. And then you go on to the next one. There's two dragons and a raven up top. And then you see all these, fa um, all these classics books. These are all here are from university, all the books I had to read there, and then you go into other classic penguin books as well, like Dracula and Alice in Wonderland, H.G. Uh, Wells and such. And then you go down a shelf and there's a few more, and then there's Bulbasaur, and a quote from Game of Thrones with it for some reason. And then we have a series of unfortunate events, and Harry Potter and Percy Jackson, and then Ronald Weasley, Weasley sitting right there. Um, more Harry Potter, Hunger Games, Divergent, Red Queen, Gone, Murder Complex, Selection, and a couple of little writing books. These are my what I should be reading soon books, but whether that will happen or not is another question. This is my Game of Thrones shelf with Tyrion Lannister and Daenerys Targaryen. Then I have Lovecraft and the Narnia books over there with um, with Summer and then I have, these are completely unsorted so I don't know where these are going, so some Alice in Wonderland books there, Awaken, Clockwork Man, Gospel of Loki, stuff as you can see, Lord of Neil Gaiman books, Terry Pratchett, 
And then I have my Death Note collection here. Obviously one's missing because I'm currently reading it. And then a couple of other books. And then you go down, here are a load of graphic novels and comic books and mangas, as you can see. And then there's like horror and stuff that I just don't know how to sort out because I don't know where they go. Um, so I have all these here. So as you can see, my bookcases are still quite full, even though I now have two. But that is because I've now moved in with my fiancé, who also loves reading. So yeah, that's that's my bookshelf tour. I have all these wonderful, wonderful books. There's nothing in these drawers right here. Um, so yeah, I will now show you what else I have around the house that is also nearly. So just here I have my Pac-Man Ghosts salt and pepper shakers and they do have salt and pepper in them which I thought was really really quite cool. My little Baymax and Doctor um, figurines. Into the living room now I have this little case here with games and series and movies on it. Um, so yes I have a lot of characters from the Mario game because they're Toms and then I have Sadness and Fear together now. And then I obviously have Howard the Duck, Drax and Groot together. And then onto my main shelf in the living room. I have a nice little wax melt holder here. Um, and then I have Castiel and Sam. And then I have Crowley and Dean. Here is Batman and then lots of Jokers and Harley Quinn because Tom likes the Joker as you can see. Joker and... Angel, Buffy and Spike and another like, nice little wax melt holder there. So yes, I have a lot of figurines. I have this as my main piece in my living room, the X-Men. Um, I have a Joker here, Joker's over there. This is my living room. And then here I have Spider-Man, which is pretty cool. And up here I have a load of heroes and then up here I have grouped again and a nice little lamp and I was our new clock. Here are my pet rats, they're not out at the moment but this is where the cage is for them. I don't know if we're going to be able to see them if I do this. Nope, I don't think we are. Maybe a little bit but no. Um, so yes, this is my my home. Um, I'm not going to show anywhere else because it's not all that interesting but yeah, I have a scooter also, my nice cool scooter. But yes, um, my bookcases are amazing and that's the main thing I wanted to show you. So I'm really, really happy with showing you my bookcases and thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you soon. Bye bye, see you in my next video. Ciao.